In theory, nowadays it is very easy to have a private talk using internet because there is publicly available and automated, but at the same time reliable methods of encryption. But in practice, it is not that easy, or at least it is not usually used by general public because people are given incorrect information, because they quote-unquote trust developers, or because they just do not care. You can call me Laika, and today I will try to tell you some general information about the encryption, both in theory and in practice. Please sit down, move your mouse to increase entropy, and let us begin our talk. Encryption is a way to secure information by sending it to some sort of secret code. More simple methods of encryption can be deciphered if you know either method used or some sort of vocabulary that helps to correspond encrypted information. But there is some flaring issues with that methods. Such methods and vocabularies can be guessed easily by professionals and computers if enough ciphered messages were read, but at the same time, safely exchanging new methods and vocabularies over distances is pretty hard. To fix these issues, new methods of encryption were created that can be changed enough to be undecipherable by just knowing the method itself. For that purpose they are using unique pieces of information, usually strings of alphanumerical symbols. These pieces are like keys to the lock, you need them to decrypt and encrypt information. Keys are a lot easier to secretly exchange, but to further improve that process, in modern encryption methods there is actually two keys so-called public key can be only used to encrypt information, and secret key can be only used to decrypt it. These keys are generated by both sides of communication, so they only need to exchange their own public keys that won't help deciphering messages even if someone got them in process. Public keys can even be publicly available over the internet to make keys exchange faster and easier, though in automatic encryption built-in software this is not being done because of using separate key pairs for every new connection. So, your internet connection is generally secured by encryption. Who has the keys? It is pretty easy if this is just a connection to website, which is stored on server, because in that case you and server need to have the keys, at least in theory. In practice there is also cryptographic certificates that are needed to verify connection. But when you chat with someone over the internet, you actually do it by sending messages to the server which decrypts it, then encrypts again and sends it to person you communicate with. There is two solutions to the problem of server owner having access to your messages, one is you are the one you talk to being server owner and another is having end-to-end -end encryption. End-to-end -end encryption is a term for having an encryption between users in a way that no third party has access to keys, but for that to be true you need to use application with open and audited source code to be sure that it does not secretly send keys anywhere else. In practice there are several issues. As I said, encryption software should be open source to easily audit, or in other words, check it for vulnerabilities and nasty hidden function. Also, add the encryption to your messages manually, for example with OpenPGP encryption standard, is both bothersome and raises suspicion from server owner and could even be banned by service. So in the end, you need to have end-to-end -end encryption built in your chat software. Most of such applications, including Discord, popular social media direct messages, Viber, dating apps chats, official email clients and most of others, do not do that, and as such, they cannot be considered actually private. Also, there are some applications that, while having end-to-end -end encryption, are not good at it. Like WhatsApp that is not open source, still spies on data about when and how you send you messages, and stores backups unencrypted on your Google Drive. Telegram, which doesn't enable encryption by default and doesn't allow it for group chats, also falls in that category. So, private talk can be achieved with chats where you can be a server yourself, like with IRC, Mumble, Fediverse direct messages, or Minecraft servers before chat report system was added. But it's a lot easier with solutions private by design like centralized signal in which encryption is tied to your password. It's a decentralized community made version called Session, which is not really convenient because of bad user interface, but with tool like nodes acting as servers and chats based on protocols like XMPP and Matrix that are federated servers. So, what is so bad about encryption not being end to end and server owner potentially seeing your messages? Two reasons people don't try getting on more private side despite knowing about. One is, I trust this chat server owner, and the other, I don't have anything to hide. Both reasons are more or less just excuses, and reasons why you should care are being told much better by many other media people, but even if you don't actually care, by using private messengers with end-to-end -end encryption in daily life you would help both normalising it as social behaviour and making it easier to not stand out in network itself, and both of that effects would help people who need privacy or secrecy while not being any sort of criminals nor shady people. 
That concludes my small, not really professional, but hopefully useful talk about encryption. Please let me know if you have more questions regarding topics I mentioned here, and I hope to see you again later.